Okay, hello everybody. <coughs> From Clyde in Jacksonville, Florida, and today I'm making um, two things. The first thing is uh, spaghetti a la carbonara, uh, which is Italian food. And what I have taken is unsmoked, unsalted bacon, thick slices, and I've covered it with uh, hot pepper powder, uh, red pepper, and then white pepper, and then black pepper, uh, freshly ground black pepper like this over the top. Um, very thick. And then um, what I'm doing is frying them up in the pan until they're very crispy. And I'm cooking like three right now and these are getting ready to turn over and I'm waiting for my water to boil uh, for the spaghetti and before you make this make sure you take two eggs out of the refrigerator and leave them out for until they're room temperature because you don't want cold eggs for this and then I minced up the onion and I have some garlic and we'll put this together as soon as my bacon gets crispy and I cook the spaghetti and what I do with this is I break it in half while it's still uncooked and this way it will be easier to work with when I cook it and uh, I'll be right back when I get my bacon and spaghetti cooked okay I'm back and we have our spaghetti started. The uh, meat I have taken out and tested it. It's very good. And uh, it's getting crispy. You let it sit to cool down before you use it. And this way it will get very crispy. And you can see that the pepper has blackened on there. That's not burnt. Um, that's what, uh, like for blackened fish, um, it's the same, but uh, that's red pepper, black pepper, and white pepper I use on that. I put just a little bit of vegetable oil in the same pan. There's not much grease as you can see. There's not a lot of oil in there, just very little. And we'll fry up the uh, onion and garlic. Just like this. Maybe this much garlic, the onion. So you just um, fry it for a very short time. And while this is cooking, and the uh, spaghetti is cooking, you just um, take the same plate. Crack the egg open like this, and the second egg, and then throw these away. Put them there for now. And the next thing I want to do is mix them. Cut the egg. And remember, it's room temperature. It can't be cold. When you put the hot items in here and the uh, spaghetti, it will slightly cook. So you're not really eating raw eggs, but this will be so creamy. I thought uh, spaghetti a la carbonara had cream, and it doesn't. It's the creaminess of this egg that makes it so good. And you just mix like this, just until it's together, like that. I'm going to uh, mix my onion and garlic. I have turned the burner off. These don't need to cook so long. And then we just wait just until the uh, spaghetti is finished, which it almost is. You don't want it uh, mushy but you don't want it crunchy. 
You want it uh, al dente, just in the middle, to where it is done. And that's actually perfect, right there. That's where I want it. I'm going to shut this off also. And then I'm turning the water on so it goes down the sink, but I'm not adding cold water to this. Just enough to get it all out of the pan like that. But as you can see, the spaghetti is still very hot like that. This is where you dump the hot spaghetti onto there. And I have cheese that I will shake on. Romano cheese is what I use because it has more flavor. And then I will take the onions and go ahead and put them on the top like this. The onions and garlic. And then next, I will take the parsley flake. I prefer to use fresh parsley, but I don't have any. But uh, I like to use a lot of the uh, parsley flakes like this the top and then the next I take these and I just break them into pieces like this into small pieces over the top and this is very spicy uh, meat with this Pasta and sauce are not, so they go together really good. I'm going to hurry and break this so that I can mix it together and finish this. And you can see just three pieces of uh, uh, thick sliced bacon is plenty for this. You break them into small pieces over the top like this. Then wash your hands like this. It is done. I have spaghetti a la carbonara. You just mix it all in together like so. And like I said, the egg will cook just a little bit from the hot pasta. hot onions. And then you may want to put a little more cheese on. Usually I do, only uh, I'm out of cheese. So this is it. And uh, I hope you enjoy. And I'll be back with another recipe uh, for a seafood macaroni salad next. Have a good night. Very good. Try it.